the mind goes with you. And when your mind is made up that I'm going to do whatever it takes, come on now tonight. I'm going to do whatever it takes and whatever state it takes it to be done. I don't care who's smoking. I don't care what you're with the thinking. Because what you've got for me, I want it tonight. I want every bit of you, God. My God, the Bible said that when it took him out there, he said, open up your eyes and what do you see? My God, he said, I see men walk around as trees. That's not the same God didn't do it the first time. He said, okay, close your eyes again. He closed his eyes again and the Bible said that he lifted his head up. And when he lifted his head up, he saw men clearly. What are you saying? I'm saying that the first time, his faith just wasn't there. But what are you saying? When your faith shows up, your mind shows up to you. And when your faith shows up and says, I'm going to get my breakthrough. I don't care if the youth pastor's preaching. I don't care if Sister Jenny's preaching. I don't care if the pastor's preaching. Because what I come for is more than a preacher. He's a preacher. He's a doctor. He's a lawyer. He's my Savior. Oh, his name is Jesus. Good. When your mind shows up, that's where the glory begins to show up. It's if it's not unusual, and it's probably not coming. Jesus could have laid his hands on him. Could have had all the disciples. Lay their hands on him. He could have spoke all the words that he could have spoken. The blind man would have received his sight. Sometimes, church, it's not how God does it. It's how you receive it. It's not how he does it. It's how you receive it. It's your response to what God wants to do in your life. <laughs> he gave you just a taste of what he's getting ready to do. But it's up to you. What do you do with what you have already received? Come on. I asked somebody yesterday morning after the service. I said, now what are you going to do with what you've got today? That's the question. See, we can bring it back or we can take it on our jobs. Come on now. Amen. Come on. Come on, brother. I don't know you, but I took it to my job. Amen. Amen. About 6 o'clock this morning, I walked in my boss's office and I looked at him and I said, JT, I said, I got to talk to you. He said, What is it about? I said, Well, I've got church tonight. And some of you may may not know, but I've been out for about a month, two months. And some of that, well, some of you, that probably wouldn't bother you, but it bothered me, and that's okay. But I want to be ready. I want to be rapture ready. I want to do everything that when I stand in front of God, I've got to answer Him. Why didn't you go? I already put it in you to talk to Him about it. Come on, we got to quit all of this. I'm going to be humble. And we got to get bold with the enemy because he's getting bold and he's getting stronger each and every day. I'm not going to look up to him. And I'm going to tell you, if we don't, if we sit back in our pews, hold our arms up and say, Preacher, move me in the I ain't here to move you. I'm here to see a movement of God. I don't care if you get it on me or not because I'm going to be open and I'm going to preach what say of the Lord and I know that God is moving in my life. I tell God he'll move in your life if you're ready. I don't know about you, but I come with a mindset that ready. If I didn't come here with just five words behind the pulpit, God, have your life. I just want to be used. We need to be bold. We need to look the devil eyeball to eyeball and say, bring him in the kid, devil, because I've got a big brother and his name is Jesus. He's ready to do it. I said, let me tell you something. I'm involved in my church. And I'm a new pastor. And I've got to be there tonight. I said, I've, I've, I've done you favors. I, I've, I've trained people. I've done above what you're asking me to do. The Bible says, in everything that you do, do it as if you're doing it on the Lord. And I believe that's even on your job. And I went to him with a whole heart. And uh, he said, well, did you put in a letter so that you can be here, uh, take off early? And I said, I'm not asking to take off 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, I understand my shift starts at 540. And I said, I said, I'm asking to be off by 530. That gives me enough time to drive to Radcliffe, get here from Louisville, change, and be in service. Yeah. He said, well, if you didn't put the letter in, I don't know what we can do, but we'll see what we can. And I said, Okay. Let me close this door for a minute because I need to have a serious talk with you. I closed the door. He looked at me and that was all of a sudden he knew I meant business. Yeah.
Come on now. Some of y'all need to close the door on the devil and let him know that I'm shutting out every single thing that you call you to put in the room with me. Now, God's looking that he can trust you with a new level because I'm going to let you know we need to shut the door.